everybody. How you doing? It's Tim Michael from TimMichaelArts.com. And behind me here, you can give a little wave, honey. This is my wife, Mandy, also known as Shay, as many of you guys would know her. Uh, she is working on one of our new vlogs. So if you guys are curious about our vlogs, Tim Michael Arts 2, this is one that we haven't done in like seven months. So it'll be a lot of fun to see that. Hope you guys enjoy that. Subscribe to the Tim Michael Arts 2 channel if you want to see that. Okay. So I had an incident, folks. Something happened. I was at work the other day, and I did something that I hate, okay? And that is hurting my right hand. I don't know if you guys understand um, how important... Uh, this is going to sound really stupid, but I'm going to say it outright. How important your hand is to you. But if you're an artist, if you're a musician, if you're a typist, if you're a pianist, you know, which is part of musician, if you're any of those things, you understand how important it is to have all of your fingers intact. Well, I was working and I went, in to, I went to our work van and literally closed my finger into the door of our van. So it has a nice, it, it's actually looking a little better, better today than it was yesterday, but I had a black th uh, fingernail and this finger isn't moving too well. It also hurts to write with my right hand. And of course, we're supposed to put out a new YouTube video. So how am I supposed to do this? I came up with a theory, and I'm gonna do it with you guys today. See if you like it. If you do, you need to hit the like button. I wanna see about 20 plus give or take likes. If I see 20 plus give or take likes, then um, we will continue this um, idea that I have. And here's the theory. I really, I can draw with my right hand, but it kind of hurts. You guys see where I'm going? I'm totally going to draw with my feet. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to try and draw with my left hand. Um, a lot of people come up to me and they say, you are a gifted artist. I'm not trying to blow myself up here. Uh, but what I'm saying is they come up to me and they say, you're a very gifted artist. You were obviously born with this talent. No, I, I do not believe that in any way, shape, or form. What I believe very strongly is that you train your mind to work with your hand to be able to draw. And if you know anything about the hemispheres of the brain or anything like that, I think it's very cool how God has created us. Your right hemisphere, or right now this is my right your uh, and left, so your you know, backwards, so, but my right hemisphere controls my left hand. My left hemisphere of my brain controls my right hand, and each hemisphere has a different function. One's more organized, the other one's more creative, one's more mathematical, the other one's more, um, creative. <laughs> so the two hemispheres communicate with each other, but work the opposite parts of the body. So the whole right side of your body is, co is controlled by your left side of your brain, and vice versa if I'm remembering all of my stuff correctly. So one of the things that I want to try to do, and I've done for quite some time, is attempt to teach my left hand to draw. I'm going to try drawing for you guys left-handed today, and you're going to see I'm going to be making all kinds of comments about how much I hate this because it is so uncomfortable. I dare you guys, sometime when you're sitting down at the dinner table or you're eating some food, try eating with your fork and your left hand. It's impossible. It is so difficult to think about getting your hand up to your mouth. It is completely unusual. Think about all the things that you might do with your right or your left hand, depending, depending, depending on which one's your important hand. Think about trying to do this one way or the other, and then try it with a hand that you don't usually use. And you'll find that you're completely blown away. Try brushing your teeth. I'm sorry, just try brushing your teeth with the opposing hand that you're not used to using. You will not even be coming close to cleaning your teeth as good as you would otherwise. So what I want to do here is if you guys are interested, I want to start a series of videos. And I'm thinking about what to call them. You guys are welcome to come in with a, a theories on that if we get up to our 20 likes. Um, what would you like to call this? The left-handed artist training the right hemisphere? I don't know. Some funny name that would be me literally starting from scratch. I am not even kidding. You guys know I know how to draw a little bit. So I think you're going to be kind of amazed and amused at how badly I draw with my left hand. So this is going to look like a two-year-old doing sketching here, and I'm going to attempt to do it. And um, I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to go back and forth trying to figure out how to understand how to hold my pen. When I hold my pen in my right hand, 
I put my finger, which is damaged, on top, and I press down with that finger. That's why it hurts to draw like that. Thumb on top, resting on the third finger. Well, because I'm doing it with my left hand, should I do the same form? Should I try to have more control on the front of the hand? Should I maybe do... I've seen some people wrap three or four fingers around. So, obviously... I'm starting from scratch. This is like, think about losing my right arm and think about trying to recreate everything that I've lost in my left hand. So I'm thinking a series of videos talking about how I would retrain myself from, you have to think about it all the way from the beginning. Think about being a kid. Think about learning to draw as a kid. Uh, think about your scribbles you did as you were one, two, three years old. And then as you get older, learning to write with your hand, A, B, C, D. I'm not going to do all that because that would just be boring. Um, and then we jump in from there to the idea of actual professional art, you know, trying to get from that stage to professional art. Now, I admit I've done a couple simple pieces left-handed on paper that don't look half bad. I don't remember who I drew, but I drew someone left-handed. I find that my left hand draws more... Um, painterly slash conceptualized. My right hand is obviously trained for inking um, very specific um, lines and, and things like that. Um, let me, let's go ahead and just jump right in here. I got paint, uh, not paint tool side. I have Manga Studio 5 EX up on my computer right now. And what I'm going to try and do for starters is with my right hand, I'm going to show you guys my circles with my right hand. Okay. You have to admit that's not a terrible circle, and I've taught you guys before making lots of circles and then picking out the circle that you like um, from those circles is going to help you get that quality line. You ready to see the left hand? I'm not. Here we go. Okay. Right now I'm already sensing a discomfort with my shoulder, trying to think about getting my hand in front of my body, trying to make those perfect circles, and here we go. Oh, come on. Nope. That, that's really sad. That's really lame. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, that there is no comparison to how my right hand and left hand work. I can, I've used my left hand to do paintings, and I can think about doing strokes with a brush like that, and I can think about doing strokes with my right hand. But you can see already that if I do it with my right hand, I have more control over pen pressure, over length, and over speed, and I can get all these close together. Look at how separated my left hand stuff is, and I'm literally trying to switch back and forth between my hands. So what I kind of want to do, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to work with my right hand today just because of how sore my finger is. I want to try and draw one thing right-handed and then try drawing that exact same thing left-handed. <laughs> okay. If you guys like this and you want to see more kind of the process of me rebuilding up my left hand, not rebuilding up, but building up my hand to learn how to draw left-handed in front of you guys going through a process, which could take forever, but it would be fun. I think it would be a fun series. Um, hit the like button. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, uh, we're up to 6,500, 6,600 subscribers, somewhere around there. Uh, please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are interested in seeing more. Okay. I draw a lot better with my right hand, I promise. <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot, shall we? Let me go ahead and clear off my um, my palette here, my uh, panel, and we'll go ahead and start with something new. Um, let me just try to erase everything here real quick. And let's just go through some of the basics. Like you already saw, um, with my... Right hand, I can already draw better circles, and I can already draw better quality lines. Let's see how bad I really am, shall we? Let's try a couple of the basic shapes. All left-handed. Here we go. Start with a circle. I'm already finding myself wanting to move my whole body towards the microphone, trying to get my shoulder into this thing. So I'm going to try and think. When I come in with my right hand, I'm so used to having it right in front of my body. So I need to try and do the same thing with my left hand. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? All right, here we go for a circle again. Looking like an oval. Come on, correct it. Kind of got a decent circle. <laughs> Never mind. Let's try a triangle. I'd say triangle would probably be a little easier. I'm also trying to consider pen pressure. It's not going well. <laughs> I 
That's a terrible looking triangle. And a square. Okay, here's the question. I'm drawing on my Cintiq, so this is not me drawing on, on my Intuos 5 like I've done in the last two videos. This is me drawing on my Cintiq, so I can see exactly what I'm doing right in front of my eyes, but I am so far off. That's a fairly decent square. Um, oval, I don't think I'm going to have any issues with an oval. I'll just try drawing a circle. It'll turn into an oval. No sweat. Let's see what happens. There we go. Fairly decent oval. So I can draw, basically. Let's go ahead and see if I can do it with my right hand uh, without too much issue. So here's my right hand. As you can see, my right hand is obviously trained to keep my lines much closer together. That triangle looks nothing like this triangle, and that's with the right hand. So obviously I have a lot to learn. Um, I'd say the first issue that I'm having is that I cannot keep my line very well directly on top of itself as maybe I can with my right hand. And then I can, as you guys can see, hopefully you can see the cursor. I'm going a lot faster. All right. I think I've made my point, folks. Um, you do not learn to, you, you do not get this as a gift. Sure, you might have a decent um, creative mind. Ooh, the cookies are done. Sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, she is making cookies for tomorrow's church. Is it for tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. For for our group tomorrow at church. It's going to be real fun. Um, so I love the cookies. I got to try them. They're great. It's like pumpkin and chocolate. Pumpkin chocolate chip, pumpkin, chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> they were fun and they were really good. Um, so when I make the when, like I was saying, you are not born into this. You might have a decent creative mind that might be more functional or less functional with the appendage that you use the most. But this is something you train your mind to do. You can't do this stuff when you're a kid. This is stuff you have to learn. So welcome to first grade, folks, where I am going to attempt to get back to college grade. <laughs> and if you guys enjoy it, like I said, hit that like button. All right, let me go ahead, and I'm going to try and draw with my left hand, my right hand here, and I'm going to try and do some kind of a face that I can then do with my left hand. Now let me tell you guys that... I find that when I draw with my right hand, you might remember this from some of my other videos talking about caricatures, I draw with my right hand, and everything that I draw, I'm sorry, I'm bumping my microphone a little bit, I hope it's not too loud, um, I got it turned up pretty high, hopefully you guys can hear, either it's too loud or too quiet one way or the other, who knows. Okay, so when I draw with my right hand, all of my people face left, and the reason that is, is because my brain uh, is thinking left. And I find that the same thing happens when I use my left hand. My brain communicates everything from the right hemisphere, so I think of things backwards. Kind of like, it's kind of like how your eyes work. I don't know if this is kind of the same science, but your eyes are really seeing things upside down. And then you have a lens, uh, not a lens, I think it's like a, uh, help me out if you guys know what I'm talking about, but almost like a processor chip in your eye that takes that image that you're looking at through your eyes and turns it back around so it's facing back up. But your eyes are actually seeing everything upside down and then reprocessing it back upside up. No joke. Freaky, isn't it? So in the same way, I kind of think that that's what my brain is doing. As I'm communicating with my right hand, it's mirroring it to the left. When I communicate with my left hand, it's mirroring everything to the right. You'll see that as I start this sketch, okay? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try the simple stuff, okay? Um, I'm going to do the very simple dotted eyes. Right now I'm having to not put too much pressure on the top of my finger here, so that's kind of good. So I can kind of do my normal sketching, even though I am... I, I feel it hampering me still, but we'll see. So I'm just going to give the Mr. Lee style. You, you, if you know my comics, uh, No Clue webcomic, as well as um, the dot .com webcomic, uh, Mr. Lee is a character in there that I have created over time. And I'm just going to try and draw Mr. Lee. Oh, that is not feeling too good. Sorry, I don't mean to complain so much about the finger. It was not fun yesterday, I'll tell you that much. Um, so here we go. There we are. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it a very simple sketch because, believe me, I am no way prepared for inking. We might try and mess around with that in the you know, next few minutes, but we're already at 15, 14 minutes of recording. So I'm going to leave Mr. Lee quite bald, even though he usually has spiky hair. But I'm going to keep him bald just to even begin the process of trying this left-handed. Are we ready? Here we go.
All right. So like I said, my left hand is probably going to do reverse and mirror of what this is. Let's see what happens. I find that if I try to draw the same character facing right-handed with my right hand, it doesn't come out as clean. I don't know why, but I think it's all because of how I've trained my brain to see caricatures and people and, and all, all that sort of stuff. So, All right, here we go. I started off with an oval. <laughs> here we go. I feel like I'm using my whole shoulder to do this. Okay. It's literally it's literally a brain thought. I'm having to really consider what I'm doing here. And I feel like I'm not gripping my pen hard enough, but I know if I grip it too hard, I am already going to be applying too much pressure and I'm going to not be able to use the pen pressures that I need to do this sketch. I'm already this line here that I'm about to draw next, which is the line that goes right here across his eyes, I'm already having to bend my body around to think about how to do this. I literally feel strain in my bicep from this. It's weird. Okay. For you left-handed people, awesome. You, and let me tell you, you guys have some amazing artwork. This is not a right-handed versus left-handed um, racism thing here. This is really cool. <laughs> this is uh, quite a theory here. Okay, now for the nose. I'm really thinking about this analytically. This is not me just doing what I usually do. This is analytical and this is mathematical. I'm looking over at my other drawing of him on the other side and I'm trying to draw what I see and boy is it not going well. No, come on. Look at that. I've like made circles on for a circular mustache. It doesn't look right. Alright. Um, come on, you. So I think it'd be fun to do a series of left-handed drawings, you know, and then of course you would see their counterpart of their right hand most likely. And then at the same time, maybe some left-handed caricatures. Would you guys like to be one of the people to get stuck in a left-handed caricature drawn by Tim Michael? That might be a little confusing, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, Tim drew this. Tim did not draw that. I know Tim's art. No, trust me, he drew it. Just, it was his stupid side. <laughs> Okay. I see Mr. Lee in there, but boy, is he a bunch of scribble. There is no controlled line here anywhere. And even if I try to control it, I just try to control that line and it just went ballistic. Yeah, this is... <laughs> oh, what do you think, guys? That's pretty crazy. I have to admit, that's pretty crazy. Um, I Like I said, I did do a caricature. I think I did a caricature of Danny DeVito or something like that. I think that's how you say his name. And it was all left-handed on my tablet, and it turned out really good, but it, it looked like this. It's heavy-duty scribble. The first thing that I want to do is I want to process things down so that when I look at it, I can kind of sort out the scribble. Let me go ahead and zoom in on this character, and I'm going to try and dim him down. And I'm going to try inking him. And let me see how this works here. <laughs> I'm also finding that as I'm holding my pen down, my my nib is not centered, which is interesting. My my pen is off alignment. Let me see if I can align it real quick, if it'll let me do that. Um, if you guys have a, Wacom, a Wacom, uh someone did correct me on my previous video, and I know it's Wacom. I am so sorry for uh, whoever made that comment. Um, thank you for reminding me, but honestly, Wacom, I don't think about it. I really don't. All right, so I'm going to try and recalibrate this screen to my left hand. Hang on real quick. There we go. 
Hmm. Just trying to touch the sc screen to calibrate it is killing me. There we go. All right, we'll see if that does any better. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, now we're on cue with my left hand. Is it on cue with my right hand now? No, it feels off cue with my right hand, but hey, who cares? Okay. Let me go grab my ink tool. And let's have some fun. Now, I've said in all my previous videos, ink with authority. You ready to see me ink with authority? There we go. Okay. Um, I think I need to be closer. <laughs> um, also, my... My left-handed pad that I told you guys about in the previous video, the G13, is still on the left side of the board. So I haven't moved it over to the right side of the board to communicate with my right hand. Not to mention it's specifically a left-handed board. So the communication between hands could be a bit more technical. So, all right, here we go. Oh, that's evil. Evil, evil. Undo, undo. Let's try it again. Like I said, you got to draw with authority. Draw fast, draw fast. Look at this. What is this? Oh, that's terrible. All right, guys, I think we should do a challenge. What do you think? You think we should challenge some people? I I think we should do a left-handed challenge or a let's not do a left-handed challenge because some amazing artists are left-handed. Let's do a um let's do a opposite hand challenge. Okay? Would there be a better way to say that? An opposable hand challenge? The what? If, you, if you're using, what would you call the hand that you use the most? Dominant. Dominant. What would you call the hand that you don't use the most? Non-dominant. Non-dominant. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll call it the non-dominant hand challenge. Um, so if you're an artist, I challenge you. And I'm going to send a challenge, and I don't know how I'm going to get this to him, but I'm going to send a challenge out to Sykra. Okay. Sykra, I challenge you on the non-dominant challenge started right here on To Michael Arts. I'll figure out how to get it to you. The non-dominant ch challenge, and everyone's welcome to join in on this. Uh, the non-dominant challenge is going to be completely drawing with the hand that you don't usually draw with. Okay? I know some artists who are very good with drawing with their non-dominant hands, but I'm just saying. Um, let's go ahead and give that a shot. I think that'd be fun. Okay. I'll figure out how to get it to Sykra. I'll see if I can send him a message. I used to talk to him way back when. There we go. Ah, that's terrible. I feel like I'm back as a kid drawing on the on the refrigerator. Oh, yeah? Yep. Uh, so am I. <laughs> this is not going well. All right. Um, trying to scroll down here. Like I said, I don't have any of my stuff set up for left hand because I don't draw left handed. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> Ah, oh, boy. And I'm still trying to consider pen pressures. You're seeing me move my shoulder around a lot because I'm still trying to apply a lot of pressure and release it at the last moment to see if I can still get that pen pressure that I love so much in my in my drawings. Um, it's not terrible, but boy, I certainly would not consider the left side of my body a professional artist. In any way. What have you been doing, left side? You've been slacking off. Seriously. Um, <laughs> this is a mess. Wow. All right, let me go ahead and just quickly ink up the right side. And this is going to be kind of hard with the hand here, but watch how quickly this is going to happen. Sorry, that was my phone. Like I said, it's all about your hand communicating with your brain. Big difference. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I admit it's still a little hard with my right hand, but still, I think I get the point across pretty clear. And you can see I'm getting my pen pressures in here pretty solid for the most part. All right, let me scroll out. <laughs> All right, guys, that's 25 minutes. I think that's plenty enough torture. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more, please make sure to hit that like button. If I get more than 20 people that have liked this, then we're going to go ahead and do some more episodes of this in the future. I'm trying to do them every week. No promises, just because things are crazy. If you haven't seen a podcast this week, that is because we are out of memory, folks. We only have a um, certain amount of memory to be able to record our podcasts. That's the Artisan Central podcast. You can look it up on iTunes. You can look it up on any RSS feed um, app for your phones. Um, you can even go to our website, artisancentralpodcast.com pondbean.com uh, to see all of our episodes but like I said we do we have run out of memory so that means we can only do about three weeks a month um, of episodes so we're waiting to uh, get more memory back so we can do some more you can help us if you enjoy the podcast as much as we enjoy making it me and all of my friends who make the podcast with me um, you can do me a major flavor and you can go ahead and take a look at artisancentralpodcast.pondbean.com. We have two ways you can support us. One is our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash artisancentralpodcast. And you can donate um, 50 cents, a dollar for every podcast that we make. Um, and if you want to, you can set a limit. So if you only want to support maybe one or two podcasts a month instead of four podcasts a month, easy setup. No problem. You just say, okay, I'm going to give a dollar for every time they make a podcast, but I only want to support them for two podcasts or one podcast, or whatever. You can set all that up. It's really easy. Um, if you're a business or a person who wants to send a note to a loved one, you can go ahead and take a look at our sponsorship area and sponsor the podcast. And on there, uh, in the links on the main website on artisancentralpodcast.podbean.com, uh, you can support us by getting a sponsor spot. only costs five bucks. We will be happy to read your message on the air on the podcast, uh, whether it be for a loved one or whether it be for your business, uh, marketing your business or anything like that. We look forward to doing that for you and uh, really enjoy uh, sharing time with you guys uh, on the podcast. Okay, so we hope you've enjoyed the show that we've done so far with the podcast, and I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, uh, video that I'm doing here for YouTube. Thank you very much for subscribing, uh, for every new subscriber that we have. Uh, my wonderful wife back here is working on our video uh, that is a vlog that we just completed and... I gotta say that we haven't put up a video in like seven months, so we can't promise that we're gonna do that all the time, but uh, it was a lot of fun to make just us talking about how things are going in our marriage for the last um, almost year. So make sure that you guys take a look at Tim Michael Arts 2 if you wanna see more, okay? I think that's gonna do it. Look me up on Facebook, Tim Michael on Facebook. You can look up my fan page, Tim Michael Arts. Uh, you can look up the Artisan Central Podcast fan page on there as well. And, um, of course, just go to my website, timmichaelarts.com, to see all that other stuff, to buy a caricature that will be drawn with my right hand, and um, all that good stuff. Remember, Christmas is coming up, so there, are, there is uh, $10 off all of my products on my website right now. So if you want to buy any caricatures for your friends or family, for Christmas gifts or anything like that, you can go, and all of the prices have been dropped by 10 bucks. So everything that you see there, those prices are $10 cheaper than we usually have them. So you get a nice discount. You can get as many as you want. Let me know if you want more than one. Like give you a little discount for groups and uh we'll go from there okay all right hey god bless you guys i love you thank you so much honey can you wave goodbye all right we're out of here guys i hope that you enjoyed the video hit that like button it would be a lot of fun to keep doing this see you later where is that stop button there it is cool